Ah, changes on the main branch. Maybe I ought to look at them before merging. You're working on a feature branch? In the last video, we saw how the IDE can show you when the main branch gets updated. You look and yes, in fact, main does have incoming commits. You go to git log, but nothing. What's up with that? The IDE checks regularly for remote changes, but it doesn't fetch the changes. Okay, let me guess. The IDE help pages explain this. Our IDE help pages explain all this. Your local Git is just as it was before the check, and it certainly hasn't updated your working copy files. I think I'd like to see those changes before I apply them. You know, look before you leap. In Git terms, we want to fetch changes. This gets us the new data from commits, but changes are not applied to your code. How do you do a fetch? If you prefer the keyboard, search by action and type fetch. You can also open the branches pop up and click the blue down arrow, or go to the Git menu and do a fetch from there. Keyboard, pop up, menu, you do you. The git log timeline now tells you that origin main, that kind of violet color, has two new commits in the swim lane view. We're in the all branches view. To emphasize our current state, double click to zoom on our local branch. No evidence in the swim lanes of those two commits from origin main. Same for our local main. But remote main, that shows the two commits. We finish by going back to the all view. Okay, I like saying the word swim lanes. That tells you about the commits, but what about the changes in the commit? Just click on the commit and get more detail, including a diff. My colleague Merritt has several good videos on using Git from our IDEs, including this one on resolving merge conflicts. Merritt recommends fetch and the look before you leap described here. This lets you see if there are problems before starting your merge instead of being surprised by a disruption. What's the YOLO option? But if you know you're working alone, you can use the IDE's update action, Command T on Mac. It combines fetch and pull. As explained in our help pages, update does several things at once. Getting your local project up to date with remote changes involves some choices. Be careful, roll the dice. Either way, the IDE can help you do the work and show you the consequences. Our IDEs are helpful. How about this tip? Want to see the exciting next episode where we compare branches on the way to the season ending cliffhanger? Click the subscribe thingy to find out. Eager to comment on how you could leave the IDE Go to the terminal and type some obscure command. Well, bless your heart. But if you have a neat tip we haven't thought of, drop us a tweet or leave a comment. And don't forget to visit this tip in the guide where we help you learn your tools developer to developer. Thanks for watching.